Number 23. A bus traveled on the highway and on local roads to complete a trip of 160 miles. Okay, so we got this little bus. Doo, 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 doo. He's traveling along. And he goes, let's say he goes on a highway, and then he goes on local roads. He goes on a highway, and then he goes on local roads. And that's called local roads. All right. And this total trip, this whole thing, was 160 miles. All right. And it took him four hours. Okay. I'm just writing all this down because when you have these big word problems, I find it helps as it goes to start writing things down to help you keep things straight in your head. The bus traveled at an average speed of 55 miles per hour on the highway. Okay. So here it's going 55 miles per hour. And on the local roads, average speed of 25 miles per hour on the local roads. Okay. If X is the time in hours, okay, so X equals hours that the bus traveled on the highway, hours on highway. And Y is the time in hours that it traveled on local roads. Which system of equations represents this situation? All right, so first off, before I even look at these options in detail, I'm going to look at them generally. And I see that each one of them has an equation that involves 25 and 55. They're being multiplied by X and Y. So, okay, there's my miles per hour coming in. And some of them are adding up to 4, and some are adding up to 160. Okay. And then I've got these X plus Ys. And two of them are equal to 4, and two of them are equal to 160. Okay. That seems simpler of the two, so I'm going to start with that. X plus Y. What would X plus Y equal? X said... It's the hours on the highway. Y said the hours on the local roads. So together, the total hours that bus drove was four hours. So the hours on the highway plus the hours on the local road would be four hours total. That bus did not travel for 160 hours. It traveled for 160 miles. So, okay. So already I know the two that say X plus Y equals 160 are out so I can eliminate them. All right, now I'm left with the two that say X plus Y equals four. Okay, so I'm gonna erase that X plus Y equals four for just a second, give me a little more room. Now, what are our two differences? This one says 55 times X plus 25 times Y equals 160. This one says 25 times X plus 55 times Y equals 160. All right, let's think about this. If I was traveling 60 miles per hour and I traveled for one hour, how far did I travel? 60 miles every hour times one hour, 60 hours, 60 miles, excuse me. What if I traveled for two hours, 60 miles per hour and for every hour and I traveled two hours, that would be 120. This is a representation of the formula distance equals rate times time. There is our distance. There's our rate, there's our time. There's our distance, there's our rate, there's our time. There's a ton of variations on this problem. I can't go over all of them. I can only go over the one that's right in front of me. So distance equals rate times time. So this uh, equation up here, these two variations, they're saying they add up to 160, the total distance. So I'm going to have a rate times a time, and then a second rate times a time, and together equals that total distance of 160. So let's look at them. On the highway was 55, sorry, the highway was 55 miles per hour and it was X hours. So okay, so my first one, the rate was 55 miles per hour and my time was X hours. I don't need a little time symbol. 55 times X, so that's how you know, many miles were traveled on the highway. Then the rate times the time. What was the rate on the local roads? The rate on the local roads was 25 miles per hour. And the time on the local roads was Y hours. And there we go. 55X plus 25Y equals 160. So B is my answer. Be sure to head over to my stores on Spreadshop and Etsy for math-related merch, worksheets, classroom decor, and more. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.